Hi everyone, I'm Natalie and I'm one of the co-founders of Rella and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Rella. Rella is organized by organizations, social spaces, and projects. An organization is going to be where all of your social spaces live. You can think of each social space as a client or just a social media set. Each social space can actually be connected to your social media platforms. In order to connect your social media platforms to your social space, you just go to your social space settings, click on links, and then you will be able to see all of the platforms that you're able to connect or all of the platforms that are already connected. If you're working with a client and you don't have access to their social space, all you have to do is hit share social links, enter their email, send email and copy link, and then an email will get sent to them where they will be prompted to connect their own social media accounts and they don't have to log into Rella in order to do that. We'll also let you know in this section when any links are set to expire. If you're looking to connect your Instagram account, we have two different ways to link. You can connect directly with Instagram or you can connect with Facebook. If you want to make sure that you can see your analytics, then you would just connect with Facebook. But both of these connections are still going to allow you to see your feed and auto post all of your posts. If you are connecting with Facebook, just make sure that when you're going through the Facebook linking flow, you select opt in to all current and future pages. At the end of the flow, you'll have the opportunity to select the exact page that you want to link, but just make sure that you are selecting the opt in to all future and current pages to avoid any issues. Within the social space settings, you also are able to rename your social space and add an icon. You can also add custom platforms. So if you are looking to add maybe a blog post or email campaign and you want to make sure that you can track that on Rella, you are able to do that here and just adding a custom platform. And on Rella, we want to make sure that you are able to customize it and match your branding or your client's branding. So you also are able to change any of your platform colors. Rella is also organized by projects and you can think of projects as shareable content folders. A lot of our users will organize the projects based off of the month that they're planning the content, but we also have some users that just work out of one giant project for the entire year. It's completely up to you. We've also seen projects being used to store brand assets and notes, not just for planning content. On Rella, you're able to have unlimited social spaces and unlimited projects. And if you need to invite team members to your projects, you'll just go to your organization settings and you're able to invite team members here by adding their email, selecting the spaces that you want them to be a part of, and sending the invite email. Rella does charge per seat, so if you want to make if you want to add team members, make sure that you update your subscription to reflect that. And you can update your subscription by going to the billing section and hitting manage subscription. When you log into Rella, you're going to see multiple different views. Our first view that we have is the board view, and you can think of the board view as a way to track the post's progress. You're easily able to drag and drop content from one status to the other and see how the posts progress. With Rella, you're also able to have custom statuses, so if there is a certain workflow that you prefer, you're able to change it. All you have to do is click on statuses, and you can add your statuses in any of these columns. The not started section is going to be any of your content ideas or the, any brainstorming sessions. Active is anything that's currently being worked on or in progress. The completed section is going to be whenever it is approved or ready to go. And when a post gets moved to this section, you will be notified that a post was approved or completed. And the closed section is going to be when you no longer need to work on the post and you can hide it. It's been really fun to see how our users customize their workflow. On the board view, you also have options like sort by, where you can sort by last updated, date created, or scheduled date, view it in descending or ascending order, and you're able to select multiple posts at a time and either add them to a different project or move to a different status or delete the posts. That way you don't have to do it individually. And if you quickly want to add a post on this board view, all you have to do is click the status plus button and a post will be created. On our board view, we, you can see at a glance the post content, who it's assigned to, the project, the date, and the platform. The next view is going to be your calendar view. This is going to show when all of the posts are scheduled. They're color coded according to the social space settings that you already inputted. And if you hover over the platform, you'll actually get to see what specific post it is. So example, it could be an Instagram reel, an Instagram story, a TikTok video, a TikTok photo, etc. On the calendar, it's really easy to plan content because you can easily drag and drop things around to different dates. You can also see your tasks and when those need to be completed. Or if you're interested, you can click this arrow over here, see all of your unscheduled content, which means content that doesn't have a date on it and easily drag and drop it on the calendar. And on Rella, you can schedule as far in advance as you like, but if you are auto posting, just make sure that your accounts are connected. And if a post is auto posted, you'll see this auto post icon on the calendar to make sure that you know that it's gonna go live on that date. 
On Rella, you can also integrate with Google Calendar by going over to your profile settings, clicking integrations, and then connecting your Google Calendar. That way, all of your Rella posts will show up on your Google Calendar. From the calendar view, you're also able to add a post just by clicking on the plus sign, and the post will be scheduled for that day. When creating a post on Rella, you're able to add in all of the details to make sure that nothing gets forgotten. Over here, you're able to add the content, title the content, assign people to the content. Only assignees will receive notifications for the post. Change the status add it to a specific project, change the platform, add the platforms, and you are able to add multiple platforms. Schedule it, whether you want it to be an all day post or at a specific time. For this one, let's say that this is gonna go live in the morning. Add the caption, hashtags, and with hashtags, you also have saved hashtag groups. So you can save something as a group or you can add a new group. That way you never forget your hashtags. You're also able to upload any files onto Rella. This is separate from the content that that's, that's actually going to go live. This can be anywhere from different versions of the file you've uploaded, audio files, documents, PDFs, anything that you want stored within Rella. Also able to add tasks and you can add dates to the task. This is great for keeping track of what you need to get done before the post goes live. You are also now able to add assignees to the task itself. If it's a reel, you're able to decide if you want it to show up on your Instagram feed or if it's just gonna go up on your reels grid. And then when you're ready to auto post, all you have to do is toggle the auto post button on. You're also able to add notes and we have different formatting options. On the right hand side is the activity section. This is where you're gonna see all of the changes, but you're also able to tag and communicate with your team members. Rella supports all of the platforms and all of the different types of platforms. Like for example, Instagram post, reel, story. If you're interested in duplicating any content, you're also able to do that by hitting the three dots and hitting duplicate. A common question that we get asked for Instagram is if you can upload cover photos and you can, all you have to do is upload another image here and that will go up as the cover photo. People have also asked us about trending sounds on Instagram. As of now, Instagram does not allow us to access its library, but a workaround is if you upload the video with the audio already in the video, once it gets auto posted to Instagram, if it's in Instagram's library, Instagram will link the audio to the sound in their library so you can still make sure that it's attached to that sound. And you are also able to tag people and add people as a collaborator on a post when you're auto posting. Just make sure that when you're tagging and collaborating on a post, it's a public account and everything is spelled correctly or else you will run into some issues. If you're looking to share an individual post with a client, all you have to do is hit share Anyone with the link can view, you can set an expiration to the link if you'd like, and you can copy the link or you can share it via email. Another option is if you want the per if you want your client or whoever you're sending this to to upload content, you just change the view icon to assets and they'll be able to upload content directly onto this post. This is what your client is going to see on their end when sharing the post. They can view the video, they can download the video, they can copy the caption and the hashtags, they can see the notes. They're able to also change the status and approve it, which will notify you. And they can even leave you comments and feedback. However, as you can see, they can't see any internal team comments. So it's great if you and your team are communicating and you don't want your clients to see. Since added private and public comment sections, so private comments are going to be internal comments with you and your team. Public comments are visible to your clients. So if you did want to respond back to them, you are able to leave a public comment and they will be able to see it. So all of the comments and feedback for this post are stored in one place. Projects are shareable pieces of content on Rella, and so you are able to share entire projects or entire content calendars. All you have to do is click into the project you wanna share, the share button, select all of your posts. You're also able to deselect any content that you don't want them to see. Copy link or share via email, and they're able to see the board view and also move things along from different statuses and approve content. They're able to see the calendar view as well and click into all of the posts. And they're even able to see what the feed is going to look like and click into the specific posts on the feed. It'll have the same capabilities where they're able to also add comments and change the status too. Rella also has a media section. If you click on media within the project, you're actually able to see all of the content within that project. If you click into a post, you're able to see all of the posts that it's attached to, or you can add it to another post directly from the media section. On Rella, you're also able to see a mock-up of the Instagram feed. You just click on feed, and if it's integrated with Instagram, you'll actually get to see what it looks like on the feed. If you don't have your Instagram connected, then you can still see a mock-up of what you currently have planned. You'll see all of the posts in order as to when they're scheduled, so you know exactly what it's gonna look like on Instagram. 
And if it's unscheduled, you're able to drag and drop and rearrange it so that the feed looks exactly how you'd want it to look. If posts are not showing up, make sure that Instagram is the platform selected for the post. If it's a reel, that the Instagram feed is toggled on so you can see it on your feed and make sure that the posts are in the future because we don't show content in the past just to not have any duplicates. Rella also has analytics. All you have to do is click on the social space and then go to analytics and we provide Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok analytics. And you're able to see all of the metrics like engagement rate, impressions, interac interactions, followers, reach, and see the top posts sorted by all of these metrics. Even like average watch time, video views, and engagement rate per post. You can filter out all of these columns over here. And if you want to see the specific post on the platform, you're able to just click into the post and it's going to pull the platform up. You're able to select what days you want to see these analytics for, and it goes back up to 90 days prior. You're also able to generate reports by clicking this view reports button and hitting add report. You can select all the platforms that you want to generate the report for. From there, you'll see your report and you're able to share it, view it, share via email, or copy the link. And this is what it's gonna look like when you share it. So your clients will be able to see their analytics and their top posts, but they won't be able to edit anything or change the date. If you wanna see previous reports, let's say you wanted to see how you did last month, you're able to change the dates and generate a report, or all of your previous reports will be in this reports section. On Rella, notifications are sent via email, and if you would like push notifications for content, then you can connect it with Google Calendar and download Google Calendar on your phone to receive those notifications. Notifications will also appear on the top right, and you'll get reminded to post your content, or you'll get notified whenever someone tags you or assigns you to a post. If you'd like to post manually, all you have to do is hit this post button, the media file will be downloaded and the platform will appear and your caption and hashtags are copied over. On Rella, we have an affiliate program where all you have to do is enter your PayPal and you get $10 per person that you refer to Rella. We also have a place where you can request features and over here you can see our roadmap and also request features and vote on the features that you want to see next in Rella. You can also contact us and see any other tutorials. If you'd like to use Rella on mobile, all you have to do is go, go to Rella on Safari, log into your account and hit add to home screen. From there, Rella is as easy to access as an application. Thanks so much for watching this video on how to use Rella and if you have any questions, just leave them down below.